Limp Bizkit has just dropped a legal bombshell on Universal Music Group, filing a massive $200 million lawsuit. But this isn't just a fight for Limp Bizkit, it's a fight for countless artists who may have been shortchanged by their record labels for years. Limp Bizkit, the multi-platinum selling band that ruled the late 90s and early 2000s, sold over 50 million albums and still has a massive following, boasting over 15 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone. With such huge success, one would assume Fred and the band are rolling in royal. But according to Durst, they haven't seen a dime from their record label in decades. Fred Durst says, how is it even possible? We sold tens of millions of albums, and you're telling me there's still nothing left over from that? Something's not adding up. And Fred Durst isn't alone in this. Over the years, members of Slipknot and other high-profile artists have echoed similar claims. As crazy as it sounds, many bands don't make money off their music anymore, relying instead on tours and merch sales to survive. But how did we get here? That's the big question. And if Fred's lawsuit is to be believed, Universal Music Group has devised a system specifically designed to keep bands in the dark about how much they're really owed. Fred Durst's lawsuit alleges that Universal Music Group has been concealing royalties from Limp Bizkit for decades. This isn't a new problem. Record labels often advance bands a large sum of money up front, called an advance, when they sign a deal. The label then recoups this advance by taking a cut from the band's music sales over time. Simple, right? But here's the kicker. Durst says that Universal Music Group has been claiming for over 20 years that Limp Bizkit is still unrecouped, meaning they supposedly still owe money to the label despite 50 million album sales. To make matters worse, Durst's legal team discovered that Universal Music Group refused to provide any accounting records for Limp Bizkit's royalties. They simply told him, you're still unrecouped, no money for you. But when his new legal team pushed harder, Universal Music Group suddenly admitted there was over $1 million sitting in their account. Suspicious, right? If this sounds shady to you, it's because it is. In fact, Fred's lawsuit is not just about getting the money Limp Bizkit is owed, it's about exposing a widespread industry problem. How many other artists have been kept in the dark? How many millions of dollars are sitting in labels accounts, unreported and unpaid? As it stands, many artists now rely heavily on touring and merchandise sales to make ends meet. While streaming services like Spotify may get a bad rep for low payouts, the real question is, who's getting paid? Fred Durst says, it sure isn't the artists. And with over 15 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone, Limp Bizkit is still pulling in massive streams. So where's the money going? According to Durst, it's being hidden in Universal Music Group coffers, and now Fred Durst is calling them out. The lawsuit claims that Universal Music Group owes Limp Bizkit over $200 million in unpaid royalties, and they're demanding answers. So what happens next? Will Universal Music Group settle the case? Or will this fight for artist rights drag on for years? One thing's for sure, this lawsuit could shake the music industry to its core.